Hey friends, it's time for That's Life with Julie, and today finds me in a bit more contemplative mood than I've been in a few days prior. Uh, after I had done some bill paying and shipping and those type of things, I, I got on my computer and I routinely go to about 8 or 10.com, .org spots, and I uh, read information about a whole plethora of things, you know, in in the political world, in the geopolitical world, uh, in foreign policy and finances, all sorts of things. Now, this one site that I go to, I never, ever put her <laughs> as a link on my Facebook. I never tweet her information because she can be really over the top. And um, I don't want to put that all out there for, for everyone. But I enjoy going, reading what she has to say, and then filtering what she has to say. And she never ceases to uh, keep me on my toes in my thinking, so I appreciate that. So today I go over to this woman's uh, site, and I begin to read. It was actually a letter that one of her readers of her blog had posted to her that he had sent to someone within the political uh, religious world. And I just find that interesting. You know, it's kind of sad, political slash religious uh, world, but anyway, it was a letter that he had written to this person and decrying what he felt was uh, truly a departure from biblical uh, Christianity, biblical faith, and church canon. And it was, you know, so I just began to read it, and I have to tell you that I was not prepared for the way that it just, the scripture that, that I read, that how it just cut as truth deep, deep within me. I, I wasn't prepared for it. I mean, has that ever happened to you? Have you ever listened to someone speak or you've read something or maybe you were listening on the radio and someone says something and you and quotes a certain scripture and it's just, oh, it's just like, this is for you. Heads up, this is for you. So I'm gonna share that with you and tell you a little bit of a story that's connected to that and you know what maybe it's for you maybe it's not it may just be me and if that's so that's okay I don't have any problem with that whatsoever but it might be something that God would want to shake and get you to think about in your own life so let me refer you to the scripture the scripture that I read was actually in Deuteronomy 16 19 through 20 and um, this is what the gentleman wrote and quoted God tells us you shall not distort justice. You must be impartial. You shall not take a bribe, for a bribe blinds the eyes even of the wise and twists the words of even the just. Justice and justice alone shall be your aim, that you may have life and may possess the land that the Lord your God is giving you. And then this gentleman says, God says that, that when we are unjust and our hands are full of blood, that he doesn't even listen to our prayers. And he cites scripture, Isaiah 1, 15 through 17. When you spread out your hands, I close my eyes to you. Though you pray more, I will not listen. Your hands are full of blood. Put away your misdeeds from before your eyes. Cease doing evil. Make justice your aim. Redress the wrong, hear the orphan's plea, and defend the wed widow. Okay, I read that, and it just caught, it just, I mean, it just stopped me short. And I'm kind of like, oh, all right, so this letter is being addressed to a big-time church leader, and what are you trying to say to me, Lord? What, what are you trying to speak to me? And then I recalled something that I had heard earlier um, in the month, and it was an interview with uh, two women, and they were talking about sexual intimacy and this situation, the role of marriage, but really talking about authenticity sexually and integrity. And one of the things that one of the women said, she made this comment. She said, you know, pornography is often, so often, the, the chief cause in when there's a breakdown within a marriage relationship in the sexual life. Um, with the men. There's often a problem with them. And then they went on and spoke about that. Like, what a big deal. You know, what a big problem that is. Um, and then she made this comment. She said, but women, you know, women, their, their problem isn't pornography. Their problem is um, their soap operas and their romance novels. <laughs> I just, I, I kind of, 
I laughed out loud. I mean, not like ha ha funny, but just like, are you, you are kidding, right? Because maybe in 1952, you know, maybe Mrs. Uh, Cleaver, you know, didn't have a problem, but I can tell you right now that pornography, yeah, it's a problem. It's a problem with women. It is an addiction. It is, it is a temptation that many, um, many of us have fallen into. And so, all right, uh, I'm going to do this in two parts. So since I'm putting that all out there, of course, I have to follow up with why the scripture in Deuteronomy really struck me and how that correlated with that conversation that I heard on the radio. So I'm going to pick that up in video two, and you're going to sit around and wonder, what the heck is she going to tell us? <laughs> all right, come back for more That's Life with Julie, and I'll let you in on, the, on what's going on.